Hi, this is Juan from Oleme Mucho. Welcome to our channel today. We have a very, very special video on our my top 12 leather fragrances of all time, from 12 to 1. Hi, welcome to Welleme Mucho, the channel dedicated to niche fragrances, colognes, and perfumes. And today we're going to be doing my top 12 leather fragrances of all time. And this is from 12 to 1. So this is a 2024 edition. And we're going to be doing one fragrance per brand. And I'm going to uh, be talking about all these fragrances. And I've left behind some fragrances that I have to do a, like an honorable mention and why it's out of this list because there's other one in this list that can actually replace it. I am talking gibberish right now, but just wait and see. Number 12. Number 12, we've got Ducalis by Angela Champagna. And this is a fragrance that has surprised me a lot. And this is a beautiful combo of leather and water so it's salty aquatic leather and it's like wow it's got musky a bit sweet vibe a bit um plant kind of vibe so it's uh carnal flower but in a greener kind of way it's very special i find it very versatile and i find it uber elegant and this smells like nothing you've ever smelled i do love it number 11 if you like very powerful, uh, smoky, uh, boozy, dark leather. Then you've got Corium by Javier Fernandez. And this is a fragrance that smells completely unavoidable. You wear this and people realize how powerful you are. It's not that versatile, but the scent is unforgettable. I love it. Number 10, we've got from Graham and Pot. This one is called Majestic Alpaca, and I find the name fantastic. Alpaca is an animal that lives in Peru, and there's three uh, animals that live in Peru, de depending on the uh, area of the mountain that they live, depending on the height. You've got the llama, you've got the alpaca, and you've got the vicuña. The, uh, the alpaca is in the middle, and uh, they do, uh, with alpaca, they do beautiful uh, leather uh, things, and... Uh, it actually has this suede, leathery vibe, but this is a spicy, leathery vibe. It smells so fantastic. It's got this uh, leather, Tuscan leather vibe. Tuscan leather, not as in Tom Ford Tuscan leather, as in leather that is made in Tuscany. Plus um, some vanillic undertones, plus a lot of saffron. So it's spicy, memorable, unique. And this is a fragrance that I do love it. This one has left out another one that I love, and this Queer Curcuma by Affinescence. And this is a fragrance that it's a combination of uh, actually leather and curcuma. And why has this one left this one out? Because this spicy vibe, this uh, saffron, this, um, it actually doesn't smell very similar, but they've got this vibe of leathery, spicy, dominant and attractive. It's just fantastic. Number nine, we've got a fragrance that is called Isota, and this is by Quinto Canto. And this is a, a very creamy, rose, leather, spicy, attractive. This is a like a warm embrace, like a warm, wet embrace. It's like, whoa, so elegant, so sexy, so incredibly unique. That, that's why it's on this list. For me, it's an addictive fragrance and it's a fragrance that I do love. Number eight, we've got Fall Into Stars and this one is by Strange Love New York City. And this is a fragrance that, it actually is a combo, a beautiful combo of oud and leather with some spices to it. It's a dominant, sexy, cheeky, maverick kind of fragrance. So this is a fragrance your mother's warned you about. This is the kind of fragrance your mother's warned you about. And this one has left out another fragrance that is called Mana by Nishan. And it actually has sort of the same vibe. It's also uh, oody, leathery, more incensey, more dark, more smoky. But why did I choose this one? Because this one is much more dangerous and sexier. Uh, but the vibe is very similar, so you can go either way. I've gone this this way. The next fragrance we're going to be talking about today is Queer Mandarin, and it is by David 
Jokin. And this fragrance is a fragrance that I uh, discovered many, many years ago and still one of my favorite leathers ever. And this is a combo of clean, bright leather. It's called the mandarin as in tangerine. Uh, but it's the kind of uh, very clean leather that you smell probably on the first time you buy a leather jacket that has been polished and shiny or the first time you buy a car, you know, the, the, the moment you buy a car and it's got leather seats and they're selling it to you so the seats shine and you've got that incredible vibe or this incredible scent of a new car or a new leather jacket. This is a fragrance that is elegant, it's energetic and I love how it actually performs on my skin. And this one has left out a fragrance that you're probably going to kill me for it, and it's called Ganymede by Marc-Antoine Barrois. This one has this leather elegance, this uh, beautiful, uh, just freshly used, or the first time you use a leather jacket, or is the first time you go into your car, the leather seat car. In this case, this one is much more citric with the tangerine, and this one is a bit uh, more elegant and more classic. That's why I went with this, because if there's citric around, there's going, always going to win. Next one we're going to be talking about today is Ioko 1954, and the fragrance is I Egocentric. And this is a fragrance that I totally love. This is a fragrance that... Dark leather, woody, um, a lot of cardamom. It's just a Tuscan leather on steroids. It's just fantastic. It doesn't smell actually like the original Tuscan leather by Tom Ford. It smells much better. And this has actually not pushed any fragrance out, but the only fragrance that could match this one is the actual Tuscan leather Intense. And why it's not pushing this one outside? Because this one is discontinued. That's why I had to go with this one. And if they were fighting toe to toe, I'm not sure which one would win. I'm not sure. And for those of you that think that this one is a copy of this one, think again, because this one came before. If there's a kind of leather that I love is the Russian leather. Russian leathers are the fragrances that are inspired on the Cossacks when they had to travel from Moscow to the St. Petersburg and they would be wearing a leather suit and the, the body would smell like leather after the trip. And that idea uh, has been developed in many fragrances. And my favorite Russian leather is Queer Canache. Queer Canache is a beautiful combo of Iris, you know, the Dior Iris, which is very lipsticky, very makeup-y kind of way, very leathery, very animalic. And you wear this and you're just calling for action. It's an attention getter. And um, this one came before the, the Dior Homme Parfum or the Dior Homme Intense. And Dior Homme Parfum and Dior Homme Intense wish they could smell like this one. This one is much better than any of those two, hands down. This is unbelievable. But this one has left behind two other fragrances that I do love. And these two fragrances are, on the one hand, Queer Fetiche by Maître Parfumeur Egantier. And this is a fragrance that it actually has the same components as um, Queer Canache. But this one is much more the iris is not that lipsticky, the leather is a bit more dominant, it's got a bit of a rose, and of course it's very animalic as well. It's from the same school, different class. It is very elegant, very sexy, and I do love it. And the other one I love too is called Ottoman Leather, and this one is by Renier. And Renier, they've done an incredible job on this one because this is a combo of leather, uh, red fruits, just an animalic vibe, a bit of oud, so it's just like, wow, this is so addictive, and it's got this same vibe, this is the most different from the other uh, leather, uh, Russian leathers, but this is unbelievably sexy. Number four, olive wood and leather. This one is a personal favorite of mine. The moment somebody asked me uh, if you were to design uh, your own fragrance for Huéleme Mucho, which one, uh, how would it be? And the first time I smelled this one, I said, this is how my first, I 
picture my first fragrance so that was a huge surprise for me and it's uh it's called olive wood so it actually is olive wood and it's also olive oil and a bit of rose a bit of dark woods it's leathery it's unique it's special it's something that it leaves nobody idle this is a fragrance that it actually people have to take a stance it's just people have to see if they like it or not I do love it. I mean, it's very high on this list. I find it so unique and so special that I had to recommend it to you. Number three, we've got African Rose by Memo Paris. And African Rose is a fragrance that it's got rose, it's got leather, it's got spices, it's got patchouli, it's got cardamom. I don't know if I said oud, but I'm going to say it again. It's got oud. And this is phenomenal. This is a fragrance that is so special. I've already said about this one, Isota, that is a bit more creamy, a more, more vanillic, more wet. And this one is more dry. It's, all the notes are much more in a kind of dry spell. You just send the, as if you were sending powder around you. But this is a powder that is like magic. You get everybody uh, close to you and smelling you all the way it actually is so great that i had to include it in number three number two is a fragrance that is actually very peculiar and is called Le Morgan, the man with the gloves by a brand called mdci i love this fragrance this is a fragrance that is like i love this fragrance it's a combo of vanilla tobacco suede it's, in a, it's not just that leathery, but it's a suede kind of leather. And cardamom. It's like... Phew. For me, it's the perfect fragrance for going out to an interview, for uh, doing a sales pitch, for uh, being memorable without overwhelming your... I mean, the people you want to impress. This is something unbelievable. I've used it for um, commercial pitch pitches, and it's like, wow so great and of course last but not least we've got Au Coeur du Desert in the heart of the desert by Andy Tower which is my absolute favorite and this is my number one the fragrance I got married with with my wife in Madrid I have got married with my wife twice within two weeks first one I was wearing Danger by Roger Dove and in Madrid I was wearing this one best leather fragrance that I know I mean in my heart of hearts this is the one I go to this is uh leather patchouli uh spicy a lot of cardamom so special so magnificent so memorable and my wife always whenever i smell like this she's like wow that's you so i am my wife thinks this is my signature scent so as she thinks it is and i think it too that's why it's on my number one so today we've covered a lot of ground from 12 to 1. We've left some honorable mentions aside, but I hope that you've enjoyed the video, that you give us a like, that you subscribe to the channel, and I look very much forward to seeing you next videos of Huele Mucho. Talk to you soon. Adios, adios.